Why does ice float? When water freezes to form ice, unlike most compounds, water is lighter in its solid form than it is as a liquid. Consequently, it floats when it freezes. Even as it cools toward the freezing temperature, water acts contrary to expectations. At first it behaves in the fashion of normal, well-behaved compounds, it contracts as it cools, growing heavier and more dense. Then, as 39 degrees Fahrenheit is reached, it suddenly begins to grow lighter and less dense, expanding in volume as the temperature drops further. The reason for this unexpected behavior lies in the way water molecules attach themselves to each other. Each molecule of water has two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom, which join together to form an asymmetrical structure. The hydrogen atoms are located at one end and the oxygen atom at the other. Thus, the molecule is said to be polarized, with a distribution of positive charge on one end and negative charge on the other. Negative to positive, these polar molecules link together like so many tiny magnets. This electrical attraction is called a hydrogen bond, and in it the positively charged hydrogen end of one molecule hitches most readily to the negatively charged oxygen side of a neighbor. Because water molecules have two positive terminals, and only one negative terminal, they join together to build specific patterns such as the six-pointed structures in snowflakes. In general, an ice crystal is created whenever a water molecule bonds with four other water molecules, which in turn bond with still others. The pattern of molecules forms an elongated pyramid. The inside of the pyramid, however, contains empty space instead of water molecules. As a result, a given number of water molecules takes up more room after freezing than they did before. That is why ice, or solid water, is less dense than liquid water. In solidifying, the molecules shape themselves into a lightweight open structure that is held rigid by hydrogen bonds. The hydrogen bond also accounts for the odd expansion of liquid water when its temperature changes from 32 degrees Fahrenheit to 39 degrees Fahrenheit. To understand why, imagine that a piece of ice has melted and reached a temperature of, say, 33 degrees Fahrenheit. Some but not all of the hydrogen bonds break apart and the well-ordered pattern begins to collapse. The molecules of water can then move more closely together, and the resulting liquid water is denser than the ice from which it formed. This increase in density, caused by the breakup of hydrogen bonds, continues from the melting point of ice, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, to about 39 degrees Fahrenheit. Within this narrow temperature range some of the molecules are still clumped together in their pyramidal patterns, while others their bonds broken are free to wander around with ever increasing speed as the temperature is raised. At 39 degrees Fahrenheit, enough molecules are moving at a great enough speed to cause water to expand, becoming less dense as the temperature increases further just as other substances do.